How to design Shopify store banner aesthetic Shopify banner design using Canva. Hi there, in this video, we will learn how to use Canva in order for you to create your own store banner for your Shopify online store. So the first thing you need to do is just open your web browser and go to canva.com and search for banner. When you search for a banner, you can actually create a new design with a blank canvas. And just to let you know the dimension for a banner here is it's actually 2 to 40 by 1 to 60 px or pixels. And that's what you can use so that you'll be able to start creating your own store banner here. So you can actually use the templates here that you can see on your workspace here. You can use either the templates and then you can just replace that with what product you're selling or what the color theme of your brand or your store would be and then what i'll do here is that for me to create or start creating my own aesthetic design is i actually like to use watercolor backgrounds like this ones here you can actually search under elements and then just type in backgrounds and then you'll be able to have a lot of options to choose from here and since I really like this watercolor effect, this is what I'll be using as the background for my banner. So you can freely use the different types of banners here. There are a lot of good designs that are for free, um, even though you are not using Canva Pro. So you can actually look into photos here. There's the texture design from a crumpled paper, or if you want a marble design, you can definitely use that as well. So here, once you have the background chosen, you can type in on the search box frame. Either you want to use a simple square design where you have here a rectangular design or even a Polaroid frame so that you can just replace the images within the Polaroid frame with your own product so that you can advert advertise it with your customers. For example, you're offering 30% off on a specific product or that product that you want to showcase or feature on the banner. But here I will just look for a simple square design here that would fit my background. And just browse here you can see that there's a lot of options there's even a sketch like or painted unfinished painting of the image that you are selling but i'll just use this square frame for my product that i'll be using here I just need to resize that to make sure that it would fit my banner without um, overlapping making sure that it will be featured or shown on my banner right here so the other half would be the product image and the other half would be the details on what the uh, store banner would be about so if you want it um, offer a discount to your customers or limited offers or if you want to have a free shipping you can definitely use that as well for your image banner so for example i have this uh, frame here i'll just use a stock image here on canva since i currently don't have an example of a product that i can use since this is just for a demo for example you want to use a mug here you can look into the elements and search for mug and then you can just copy or drag and drop the image into the frame that we um, positioned earlier but since my uh, online shop in shopify or online store in shopify rather is actually more on clothing apparel i can use this image here um, with the plain shirt of the model as my base image here for the discount so since this is just for an example i'll just use this plain shirt but i can definitely add designs into it if i want to but i'll just use this plain shirt here so if you uh, once you have the uh, image positioned here the next thing that you'll do is go to text on the left side panel of the screen and then just type in 30 percent off for example you're offering 30 percent off 20 percent off depending on what your store is offering you can definitely change that and you just need to 
change the font size to 275. You can even set the font as well depending on how you'd like the font to look like or what type of fields you want to incorporate into your um, to your audience so here i just want a homey feel or just a good vibe so i'll just use the soft um edges on the font that i'm using and i'm aligning that in the middle horizontally so type in 30 percent and then i will add another text here I'll be adding a graphic so that I'll be having a background of the 30% so I still have a lot of area to add the details like the promo code or what the 30% is telling us is it 30% off of the free shipping or 30% off all items you could definitely use that as well so for example I will have this um, graphic here so that I will have that at the back of my 30% discount right here and you can just click on this color box at the upper left and then you can see that I can automatically change the color of this background that would match the original background that we're using that we cho chose earlier. You can see there's actually photo colors when you are trying to change or modify the color of that specific um, graphic that you will be using here. So you can use the photo colors here to make sure that it would not be off the color scheme that much. Make sure that they would harmonize as well right here. So you can use that idea to use the col photo color so that it would look good into your online store banner. So here I'm just typing in off so that I will be placing that on or right after the 30%, but it's quite smaller. So you can also incorporate here, use code and then Create any code that you like or the code on your Shopify online store, the original code here. So what I'll do here is I'll just modify this. I'll change the font here. I'll use Cardo. So you can just do trial and error on the fonts depending on what fits best onto your banner here or if you already have a um, brand and you have a font that you frequently use for your shop you can definitely use that font as well so here I'm just copying the 30% and I'm typing in off here and then I will be resizing this later on I'll add an effect I'll position this here so I'll just edit the word off here so that it would fit best on the promo discount that we offer on our banner so you can modify or resize that or you can change the font as well so let's say I have this here I will I can rotate that if I want to or you can just r rotate the off the word off and then realign the 30% here make sure that the 30% off would be right beside each other so I'll just resize the um, off here so I'll be using or making sure that it would fit here so I'll use this one and then I'll just reduce the font size of this text so I have it here as 50, drag here, move it around, make sure we do you look into where it fits best. I'll actually have it aligned at the bottom part of this um, box here. And just wait that, and that's the uh, main or the base banner that we have. 
So the next thing we do is you can actually click on this um, add page or duplicate the page to the icon right beside the uh, trash icon. You can actually duplicate that so that you'll be able to create variations. So what I'll do here is instead of having one picture, I'll be using two. And what you can do is the same as we did earlier, go to elements, search for frames, and you have a lot of options to choose from here. Um, you can see that there's actually a few frames that already has two images. So I'll use this one right here. I'll just delete this um, duplicate image and then I will resize the frame that we just added here. I'll be rotating that a little bit as well, making sure that it would um, be good to look at. So it's, it's not very good. So I'll just rotate that a little bit just to make sure that it looks like a, it gives us a comfy vibe or just a random collage passing by or um, a reel here. So you can just look into that here and then I'll just look for a stock image of a shirt that we can use have this and the same image that we had earlier and then I want to modify that here as well so once you're satisfied with your banner you can actually click on the um, share icon and then go to download once you click on download you just need to choose on what page you'd like to upload here so that you'll be able to add that into your Fi banner. So once you have that downloaded, wait for it to full load and you can switch to your Shopify online store. Click on customize right here and you can see that the banner that is being used is just the default one. So you can just click on banner on the home page and then you can see here that there's a first image and second image we'll only be using the first image here you can just click on select image and then from here you can add images or you can just drag and drop the image as well so let's look into the image that we just downloaded from canva and then just wait for it to fully download and then once done, you can just click on done. Make sure it has a check mark. So you will be able to make sure that that would be the image that you will be added into your image banner. So here you can see that it shows, but it does not fit entirely into our banner here. So you can see in banner height, make sure you change it to adapt to uh, image banner and then, or adapt to the first image and then you need to make sure the opacity is set to zero so that the color of your banner will show and you can simply click on the button here so that you'll be able to delete that and also the word or the text that browse all products so that you will only have the image banner here that will show and that's basically it you just need to click and save and now you have done a customized shopify store banner and that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching bye